Welcome to part one of MicroShare's new podcast series focusing on the Internet of Things and facilities management. I'm Michael Moran, MicroShare's Director of Communications and Chief Sustainability Officer, and I'll be speaking today with Tom Jackson, who's been leading MicroShare's research and intelligence efforts in the smart facility space. We've designed this part of the series specifically for enterprise tenant occupiers, or in plain English, companies or asset management firms who manage large, diverse portfolios of real estate around the world. So welcome, Tom. Thanks, Mike. Nice to see you here today. So Tom, there seems to be a growing enthusiasm for smart building solution. Give me a sense of what this is all about. Sure. Um, well, there's a few things here, Mike. Uh, the composition of the workplace is changing. Uh, we have multiple generations working together, younger people with older people. Uh, Younger people more familiar with mobile and cloud and app-based solutions used anywhere, anytime, and work uh, getting done anywhere necessary. And that's a far change from uh, the workforce in the early 2000s uh, when most workplaces in the built environment were designed. Um, secondly, we have uh, how and where work is getting done is changing with much more work occurring outside the office. And uh, finally, technology is changing. Uh, so, so part of that started with, uh, with smartphones, but applications are now being available for the built environment that didn't exist as little as a year ago. And, and that's causing uh, some excitement to take place in the marketplace. Well, a lot of companies already have lots of building data. Um, how, how can IoT integrate with all of this? Yeah, that's a, a good question. There are uh, lots of existing uh, building management systems or integrated work management systems that exist in buildings. Uh, and IoT can be integrated uh, in three different ways. One, one way is you can have your existing IoT systems or your new IoT systems basically sitting parallel with some of the existing systems and people can toggle back and forth. Uh, a, a second way that the IoT data can be included is to actually feather some of that real-time data directly into uh, the uh, integrated work management systems or building management systems. And, and then the third way is a much a fuller integration of those two different types of systems together. Uh, which one people choose really depends on timing and budget and a number of other uh, uh, variables uh, with People that are looking to integrate things across a whole portfolio, for example, have a whole different point of view than, than those that have uh, you know, a, a smaller set of buildings and a, a kind of a smaller orientation. Well, let's say you know, I am a, a, you know, a, a large portfolio manager or I'm an enterprise tenant occupier of, of facilities. You know, how do my organization, what's the first step? How do I take advantage of IoT? Sure. Um, I, I think the first thing, it starts by trying to build your awareness of the technology, that, that IoT technology can help to save money. It can help improve satisfaction at the employee level. Uh, it also provides an opportunity to improve employee engagement and productivity. So those core elements uh, to the tenant environment I think uh, provide an opportunity then to help uh, attract and retain staff. And, and so those, that, that's an important place to start. At a practical level, the facility management uh, managers need to educate themselves a little bit to what's possible. And, and they do well to align uh, IoT possibilities with their key organizational objectives. And that's usually a, a better path to success. It's easier to get uh, executive management buy-in that way. Uh, and then third, there are a variety of IoT solutions that are available. It'd be great to have uh, uh, FM managers identify F, uh, IoT solutions uh, that add value to their organization. And there are some simple ways to do that. Well, thanks, Tom. That's it for part one of MicroShare's podcast series on facilities management and smart buildings. Visit www.microshare.io or one of our many social feeds to download part two 
And Tom and I will be digging into smart building IoT use cases in that podcast. MicroShare turns data into actionable insight, enabling cost savings, risk management, and new revenue streams that can transform your portfolio. That's all for now. On behalf of my colleagues at MicroShare and Tom Jackson, this is Michael Moran saying so long.